Hey, this is Jersey. You're watching the Garden State. What's up? You're listening to the Garden State Podcast, the only podcast that gives you all the New Jersey news you need to hear this week. My name is Josh Sobo. I'm Josh Chomick. How you doing, Josh? This is our first time recording a full-length podcast. Yeah. It feels different. Yep. Yeah, it's weird because we started this and we were like, let's just make little TikTok videos and see if people want to watch it. Yeah. And then everyone was like, we need the full-length podcast. We need the full thing. A lot of people were asking for a full length and it was our plan from the beginning to make a full length podcast, but we want to start with a few small clips. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't really know what we were doing. So getting a little comfortable in front of the camera again after many years. Yeah. How was, how was your week by the way this week? Everything good? Everything. Dude, I went to Hunter, New York yesterday because Jersey got rain Yeah. and they got 12 inches of snow. It was beautiful. Pow day. Hunter mountain. Love it. Awesome. Way better than Mountain Creek. Uh, Well, my news for today was that I pumped my own gas in New Jersey for the first time in my life today. Huge. And uh, I did it at a Wawa in Plainfield. I pulled up. Nobody was coming over to help me out. So I got out and said, you know what? Let's see what happens. And I put my card in, swiped it, put 20 regular into the tank. By the time I was done, still nobody came over to help me. See? So I saved myself probably, I don't know, five minutes of my day pumping my own gas, breaking the law. Bro, you broke the law? And you didn't even get caught for it. Yeah. And the gas attendant was probably happy you did that. That's the thing. Someone said to me, they were like, well, the gas attendants at these spots are probably fine with you doing it. And maybe I'm justifying yeah. this, but it makes sense. Like, would, would you care? I'm doing, I'm making their job easier. They're not getting paid any less. Yes. And they're already attending six other cars, dude. Yeah. They don't want to, if they're all alone, they don't want to be pumping another car because you know, right after you, someone else is going to pull in and wait. Yeah. And I, th- I just think it's absurd. We posted that video saying, we think you should be allowed to pump your own gas, which th- the suggestion was simply, if you want to, it should be a self checkout lane, not getting rid of attendance. Yeah. And people were all up in arms. There were so many people Dude. going, I don't want to get out of my car when it's nine degrees. We didn't say you had to do that. We're just saying the <laughs> options available. It's like if My I'm at ShopRite and I have a cart full of ton of food, yeah. obviously I'm not going to go to the self-checkout lane because I'm lazy. I want someone else to check out for me. Yep. But if it's a gas station, it's warm outside and there's a wait, I'm going to go and pump my own gas. Absolutely. It's a free I, I, country. It's, it's just I, people cannot accept that there can be any nuance in a conversation and it drives me a little bit nuts. That's why I love this podcast because no matter what we talk about, there's always someone from New Jersey with an opposing opinion. Yes. Just arguing with us and it's hilarious. And I love the conversation. I love how we could we could all disagree but have a conversation together. Yeah. And you know, our producer Jimmy Parks wants to say something. Jimmy, what's up? Did you know that Oregon, we said last week that they were the other state that you have a gas attendant. Mm-hmm. They actually got rid of that. You can pump your own gas in Oregon now. So we're the one and only. We're the only one. No. We're the only state in 50 of the United States. It does make us special. Like we're the only one left. <laughs> and we're still able to do it. So, hey, we all win. Say one day you're not feeling like pumping your gas. You don't have to because you're in New Jersey. Well, let's get into the news hey, for the yeah, week. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. We have a lot of stories lined up for this episode right now. Yeah. No sponsor yet. Yes. So this is where we'd be like, this, this episode is sponsored by... <laughs> Simply <but> Safe. <laughs> sponsor us. We're here to be sponsored. Speaking of absolutely insane stories, did you hear about the 81-year-old Woodbridge man that was thrown from his ambulance because it hit an overpass? <sighs> that is awful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but come on, like I couldn't help but giggle a little bit because uh, if you're an ambulance driver, you got to know your underpasses and you got to know where you're driving. You're also going to kill someone in the back of your ambulance. Yeah. What's up, Jimmy Parks? You don't have to raise your hand. You could just talk. <laughs> From my understanding, he's like in the back like this, like he's like a student waiting to get called on by his teacher. From my understanding, this ambulance was covering because all the ambulances in the area were already in use, so he wasn't familiar with the area. Ah, mm. Interesting. Well, right well you're, you're trying to get to the hospital in the <laughs> quickest amount of time. I've actually yep. I've driven by that bridge. I have a Jeep, and I've driven under this bridge many times before, mm-hmm. and every time I go under it, I'm always like ducking my head just because I'm just like, am I, am I going to fit under this thing? So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm shocked that an ambulance driver <laughs> drove through this thing, and it hit the top of the ambulance, and this guy just goes flying out of the back. 81-year-old dude. Yeah, it says the South Plainfield Ambulance was headed south on Parsons Road around 11 p.m. on Saturday when the top of the vehicle hit the bridge not far from Hackensack Meridian Health. 
JFK University Medical Center. That is a name. <laughs> I love it. How many words? Hackensack Meridian Health JFK University Medical Center in Edison. Is oh, that, my gosh. Is that a real name? You started reading Hackensack. I was like, wait, they're not in Hackensack. They're in Edison, but it's actually in Edison. So the patient was from Islin. So the, oh, hold on. Let me read that again. The patient was from the Islin section of Woodbridge. He was thrown out the back doors by force on the impact and suffered a serious injury to the wrist. I mean, all things considered, hey. an injury to the wrist, it could have been a lot worse for this guy. And listen, my man is probably going to file a lawsuit. Yeah. Make some guap for oh, yeah. being thrown out of an ambulance as he was being rescued. Like, literally, that bridge is a minute from the hospital. The guy was probably so happy. He's like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm going to make it. And then, boom. Well, and gets that's thrown out. It lands in the street. How terrible. Well, the weirdest part of the story is they think they took him to university <laughs> hospital. University Medical Center? Where is wait, this how many? Isn't University Hospital in Newark? Yeah, it's in Newark. There's, but what, wait, what's that one say? So, my, uh, it's just, let me pull up, let me pull up the article again. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I highlight Fact check. Yeah, check, wait, what the Edison one is called. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So, he was taken to Robert, w- and then he was taken to Robert Wood Johnson at University Hospital in New Brunswick, which makes the story even more confusing. Oh, wait, what was the Edison one called? Okay, so, he was near, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Hackensack Meridian Health, JFK <laughs> University Ho- Medical Center in Edison, and they took him to Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New, in New Brunswick. So, oh, dude, just a lot happening in this guy's How, life that yeah, day. Yeah, bro, he was this close to the hospital, gets thrown out, ends up in the street, and then guess what? He's got to drive another 30 minutes yeah, that's probably to good- another hospital because, hey, it looks like under that bridge was the only way to the hospital. That's what it would seem. So, how. When are they going to build a bridge there that's a little bigger? That thing is tiny. Do we have a, is there a photo of that bridge that we could Pro- show everyone? Probably. And you know, the thing is, I bet, I bet it's a historic bridge that can't be torn down. Oh, yeah. And all the locals will freak out. What goes over it? Like a train? Um, I think. Is there a train right there? Yes, there is a train right there. It's right next to the park in the skating rink. Okay. Well, hey, uh, crazy story. And you know what? Hey, this, Cra- guy, this guy, God bless him. He's going to make some money. Maybe he'll get healed from his little wrist injury in a few months and yeah. it'll be a story to tell to all his friends in a few months. They'll all laugh about it. Thank God he's alive. It could have been way worse. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, getting thrown out the back of an ambulance for a massive check. You never know, man. I, I'm not saying I'd want it to happen to me, but I am saying if I knew I'm, the consequences, I, I might, might have to sign up for that. I might put it in the GPS when they start taking me yeah, you, down that specific road. You know, how, how tall are you? Six two. I might have been decapitated. I was about to say, dude, like that bridge. If you stand right next to it, you might you could probably like reach it. Is it that low? It's low, bro. Wow. I I've I've that. I've seen that bridge my entire life. It's small, dude. I wonder if normally they have the ambulances going. I guess around a different way. Probably it has to be, or they could just put a little path around it or something. I don't know. Dude, just build the bridge. Build a bridge over the bridge. Build the bridge. Man, this, so this week has been filled with just absolutely terrible news. Um, <laughs> do, do we have a good story lined up, Josh? No, this next one's even darker than the last two, I think. <laughs> Guys, I, and people, okay, Josh, someone, a lot of people were like, why is this dude on the right laughing when we're talking about death? I'm not laughing at a death. Um, I'm laughing at how ridiculous these stories are written or the circumstances are. I'm not yeah. happy that someone died. Of course, of course so, not. Just well, want to put that out. You're not an animal. There. I mean, I think the the viewers have to know that. And unfortunately, <laughs> there's always a TikTok comment. <laughs> and I'm, got and I'm, I'm always smiling. I'm happy to be here with you. Can I ask you something? Does does my microphone sound weird to you? Your no, mine sounds like it's distorting. I'm scared. Oh, yours sounds great in my ears. Wait, really? We should switch wait, headphones. Wait, wait, let's try it. Hello. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I sound so much. Okay, good, good, good. That's a good thing. Okay, great. I, I think the, wait, do you want, I want my headphones back. All right, switch. Wait, are you sure? Yeah. Are you cold? I'll switch if you want to switch. Okay, I'll cool, switch. So, sorry. Guys, we're working um, on a, in Josh's living room. We're a little tight here. Yeah, my poor Work wife. Work on a budget. My poor wife is watching Netflix in the bedroom. Shout out to Shelby. Thank you for letting us use your She was begging us to finish this already, so we got to wrap it up. Um, and we're only in the third story. So 
Let me cue up the next story. A Vineland, New Jersey man went on a backhoe rampage that ended in death. Jimmy, stop <laughs> laughing. I'm trying to read the headline. It's not it's funny. It's like a live audience. Yeah, if, if, he, la- if he laughs, I'm going to laugh, even if it's not funny. The, the word backo, just saying the word backo is just funny. I got to read the headline again for the TikTok video. <laughs> okay, we won't laugh. We won't okay. laugh. <laughs> backo. Okay. Here we go. Mmm, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> this is why. This uh, is why it's so. We're learning how to make a full length podcast because we can't stop laughing. It's fine. It's fine. The people at home listening to this in their car, at home listening to this in their car. That's a funny sentence. They'll get it. They'll understand. We'll get better. If, okay. If you're watching this video, uh, shout out to our new prop on the table. We need some jersey decor. Yeah. If you want to send it to our PO box that doesn't exist, feel free. Coming soon. A Vineland, New Jersey man went on a backhoe rampage that ended in death. Who, what is a backhoe rampage, Josh? So this guy, Joshua E. Gonzalez, he's 20 years old. He's from Millville, um, was driving a backhoe at like 530 in the morning, smashing into police cars, houses, everything in his way until eventually the cops had to actually shoot him and he died. Oh. Absolutely tragic. You can actually see the video online of My him going crazy. goodness. The crazy thing with news now is that there's a ring doorbell everywhere. So when something like this happens, there's going to be like HD 4K Thank footage. God. Thank God. I guess. I think that's a great thing. There's been so many um, police cases that have been solved due to ring doorbells. Yeah. I need to get one. I, I'm always curious as, as what's going on in front of my house mm-hmm. or like in the back of my house. I have two entrances. So like I got to get one just to start snooping. Yeah, there was no, the article didn't actually give a, a motive for why he did this, but nonetheless, it's very, very sad. It reminds me of the Killdozer story. You ever hear about that? The Killdozer. You ever heard about this? No. There's a man in Colorado a while back who um, had a, a bulldozer and he welded steel plates all on the outside of it. Uh-oh. And then he, and the reason he did it was because I might get some of the details of the story wrong, but the reason he did it was because I guess the city was, was like coming down on him with, um, certain, what is it called when you want to build something on your property? You need to get a, oh, permit. Permit. Yeah, so the city uh, w- within Colorado that he was living within uh, was coming down on him with certain permit regulations. And they were it was they were being very unjust toward him. Okay. So in response, he welds plates on the killdozer, goes on a rampage and destroys his entire city. Awful. And then eventually kills himself because he gets the killdozer Ugh. stuck in the basement of a building that he drove what into. A coward. It's yeah, always the worst I mean, when they kill themselves. It's, Face the consequences for your actions. I don't know what the other result would have been, though. I mean, the guy was trying to kill people with a with a bulldozer, and this seems like a similar situation with Josh Gonzalez. You know, so. it was weird because I was watching the video, and it looks like he tries to crash into someone's house first. Like, mm. he's just punching into this person's house, and then he goes into their fountain, and then he's just kind of driving back and forth. So I feel like he could have done way more damage. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if he was, like, intoxicated somehow, and he just... Maybe he thought he was in a dream, and he's just having the that, time of his life on a backhoe. Who knows if he was a crazy person? We that this yeah. is what stinks. He's dead. The the he was going to kill a, a cop, so he had the cops had to start shooting. Him. Yeah, he hit a few cop cars, and the weird thing is, it's it's like five a.m. You know, if he was trying to hurt somebody uh, and be malicious and think this through, I feel like afternoon or like regular daytime would make more sense. Yeah. So it strikes me as like, maybe he was having some sort of an episode or I don't want to speculate because yeah, we have no idea. We have no idea, but it sounds like something was going on with this guy beyond just like angry, like the killdozer guy. It's the back of a rampage at 22. <laughs> We're going to be talking about that to our kids someday. What, what town was that? Millville? Millville, man. The Where, great- where's Millville? Jimmy? It's far south. Okay. So, like, what county south. are we talking? Cumberland? Dude, it's... I love... I don't, I don't want to, like... Me, I don't want to get the South Jerseyans upset, but it's always South Jersey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's it always, always South is Jersey. South Jersey. <laughs> and... Yeah. Cumberland County. It is <sighs> Cumberland County. Okay, so here's the thing with South Jersey is people from South Jersey get very, very dicey about stuff. They're very offensive. And this because is like... Because they know it's true. Yeah, they have to know Come it's on. true. We love you guys. We're all one here. We're all Jersey. We all rep it. But you guys just keep getting your names on the map for driving backos and crazy things, disappearing in the pinelands and all you, that. You know what New Jersey doesn't get enough credit for? Being the most diverse mm, state. Mm. Like wherever you, you can go literally up to mm. up north, 
Northwest Jersey and you're in the country it's so and be crazy. an hour from Manhattan. Love that. You can go to South Jersey and the Pine Barrens and literally feel like you're in Kentucky. Yeah. You can go to <laughs> East Jersey and Newark and literally have every culture of the world swarming around you it's with beautiful. delicious food. Mm. We live truly in the melting pot. We have the mountains an hour from us. We have the Jersey Shore. Yeah. The farms. We got Philly. We got New York. Yep. What am I missing? I'm covering every ecosystem on the map right yeah, now. Yeah, you have great beaches. You have the best pizza in the world, oh, bar none. Hello. Delicious. the highest taxes maybe next to California. I guess you pay for it. Pay for that, it. I mean. They're making us pay for it now. Yeah, you know, I had a friend that moved to Texas, and he was saying to me, the one thing I miss about Jersey is the pizza, man. We don't have good pizza here. But, you know, it's a give and take. They have good barbecue. We don't have good, like, brisket in Jersey. That's true. We're missing the barbecue food for sure. That's one thing Jersey really hasn't figured out. There's a few spots, but like... Shout out Red, White, and Q in Kearney, New Jersey. Yeah, classic. Check it out if you haven't been. Amazing barbecue. But I don't know. I just found it interesting. We're, the state is very all over the place. And um, um, speaking, speaking of high prices yeah. and prices rising, I think we need to talk about yeah. toll prices going up. Absolutely. And... So we have a Discord, bunch of members already. We love the community. We have so many different channels. If you're not on our Discord, check it out. It's in the bio of our Instagram and our TikTok. Yep. Oh, and now our YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the bio. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lots of conversations going on there. We love it. We're always in there talking to everyone about food, news, general stories, yeah. memes, everything. Anyway, we had a user on our Discord DM us. Yeah. Josh, you want to take it from here? Yeah. So basically, this guy, Lorenzo, wanted to call in and talk a little bit about the toll prices. Dude, I was like, he was like, you guys should accept callers onto your podcast. And we've been wanting to do it. Yeah. It's just we haven't done a long form podcast yet. So we're going to do it today. I think we should get Lorenzo on the phone. I want to You want to do this. it right now? I, yeah, let's just do it right now then. Can we get him on the line? Jimmy, Jimmy, how are we doing? I'm patching him through right now. Hello, can you hear us? You're on the Garden State. Who are we hearing from today? Hey, uh, it's Lorenzo. I'm from Bayonne. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Lorenzo! Lorenzo, baby, what's happening today? Hey, I'm uh, not in much, you know. Just uh, a little upset, you know, a little upset. Yeah, hey, you want to talk about the tolls? What's going on? You know, these toll hikes is just, it, it threw a wrench into pretty much what I was doing. Every, every weekend I go down and visit my grandmother in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mm, and ooh, these local. toll hikes are making me now take one to nine. Wow. And the traffic on one to nine is insane. Oh, it's miserable. By the time I bring the hot bread from Bayonne to my grandmother's house, it's cold. Yeah, you know, and this is an issue we keep hearing about because the thing is the toll prices keep going up. They keep going up. Is there a ceiling to the toll prices is what I want to know. How many other people are like Lorenzo right now? They can't get to their grandmother's house with the bread still yeah, being warm. His poor grandmother. Yeah, and, and she and, needs that bread. You know what? The working man is the one who really loses here, right, Lorenzo? Exactly. Toll prices go up, but my salary stays the same. <laughs> hey, so if that ain't the it, truth, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing: uh, the toll prices can only go so high. Well, we're going to be paying thirty dollars a toll to get on the turnpike in, in ten years. You know, what's that world going to look like? I don't want to live in that New Jersey, right? That's not New Jersey for me. Mm. It's time that we get out of here. So what do you, what, what's the solution you propose here, Lorenzo? What do you think we could do to, to end this situation for the state? You know, I just think we, we set a flat rate, you know? We set a flat rate. We adjust for maybe some inflation here and there, and, and that's how we do it. We keep it with, with the Americans, how we're working. If I'm making more money, I pay a little bit more money. Hey. If I'm making less money, I pay, I pay less, Let's, you know? Lorenzo. What is, um, maybe Josh would know this. How often do they raise these tolls right now? It's like three years or is it every year? Jimmy? Lorenzo, do you know? Uh, I have no idea, man. I just get because the I feel like it's been a, like, I feel like every year we're hearing about the tolls being raised. Yeah, it seems like it's a never-ending game of toll prices going up 3%, 3%, 3%. It was a quarter when I was a kid. I I, just, my dad would always let me throw the quarter into the toll. Yeah, the remember good, the buckets? Best days, the buckets. Hey, yeah. just for reference, my Easy Pass bill is as much as my Verizon bill. And Ugh. if you have Verizon, you know how much that is. Wow, do you have 5G? <laughs> of course I have 5G, the best plan. iPhone 13's up and down the line because everyone wants a new phone. Oh, wow. 
Well, Lorenzo, I don't know what the solution is here, man. And, and you know, we we're could upset keep this, too. We're upset too, brother. We, we'll keep this conversation going. Anytime you want to call in and complain about anything, you know, you hey have guys, our number. Thank you. I appreciate you letting me call into the show. And I hope this is the first of many. Hey, God bless you. You're a great New Jerseyan and, a, and an even better American. Tell, tell grandma we said hi. Oh, I'll tell her. Hey, quick question for you. If you're, if before you get off the line, if you're coming from Bayonne, give me a give me a bakery Ooh. or something in that whole general region of Bayonne, Newark, Jersey City. So many. Spots. Give me a spot I want to stop at for so some. We got we got Antiques Bakery in Jersey City. Okay. Great spot. Mark it good down. Good bread. Good focaccia. If you like mm. any of that, great spot. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Anything in Newark, you know. We'll of. have to do a review or something. <laughs> North, you know, you got the classics, Cafe Italia. You got Calandra's Bakery on Bloomfield Ave. Come on, brother. Come on, man. All right. Well, we'll have to check him out. Thanks for calling in, Lorenzo. All right. Take take it easy, Lorenzo. God bless. Bye. What a good guy. Yeah. I mean, that sounds to me like (laughs) your average New Jersey resident. Bro. He sounded, yeah, exactly. He's upset. And I feel like my dad would say the same exact thing. My dad's on the parkway every single day going to work down south and no one wants to pay these high prices i agree what's up jimmy you know what's crazy this new thing it's called toll indexing and it's the new way the tolls will increase hmm. um and it'll be annually instead of once every 10 or so no, years like uh, it used to be why yeah because you know why because the state gets yeah. richer and the working man gets poor that's just the and way it goes the potholes will always be there no matter where you go. Let me ask you this. How have we not figured out how to fill potholes yet in New Jersey? Mm. I hate to be that guy that says it like this, but Elon Musk is shooting people to Mars right now. Mm. Can we not find another material that doesn't break open after like 10 years of being there? We got to fix these potholes, man. I'm going to lose my mind. I always got to calm him down when we talk about the potholes because it's true. It's true. It's it's always been a thing. It's Mm -hmm. always been a problem. I'm I'm running over a pothole at least five times a day Mm -hmm. on a different road. They fix one. Another one pops up. Potholes everywhere. Welcome to New Jersey. I have no words for that. Killing all our tires and our cars and... Especially with the winter time, bro. After winter, with all the plows, mm-hmm. it, it triple everything. And the just, salt and all. all it just of kills it. the roads. I don't think there's a solution. They're just going to keep raising the toll prices. We're going to keep giving you money, and the highways are just going to be just as bad. The good thing here is it looks like there's a bipartisan bill. There's a actually a pair of bipartisan bills in the Senate right now, mm. aiming to fight these increases with legislation that would roll back this increase and would bar authority from automatic toll increases in the future. Jimmy, can't give you a piece of advice when you speak. Speak right straight into that mic. There you go. Just Got like that. Copy. Oh, oh it's do like that again. A- ASMR, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. Give the people a word. Give us. Give Say us, something. Give us a, a breed of tree you can find in New Jersey. So we got this bipartisan bill right now in the Senate. He's reading it again. Oh, yeah, we, we already got it, Josh. Oh, you got that already? <laughs> we heard you. Just yeah, we up. heard you the first time. Oh, well. Josh, did you hear that there is a fan suing the New York Giants and the New York Jets $6 billion for playing in New Jersey despite calling themselves the New York Giants and the New York Jets? They must have seen our TikTok. Yeah, we did, Be- just, we did just talk about this. Yeah, exactly. But I think it's the polar opposite. These people who are making the lawsuit, they live in New York, and they are furious that the Giants and the Jets are playing in Jersey, in our land, and they want them back. Yeah, it's saying a fan has filed a multi-billion That's dollar so lawsuit against money. the Jets and Giants because the franchises claim New York, but both play in New Jersey. Hmm. The $6 billion lawsuit was filed in Manhattan Federal Court requesting that the franchises dump MetLife Stadium and return to New York by 2025. Until then, there's a stipulation, the franchises must call themselves the East Rutherford Giants slash Jets as long as they are in New Jersey. That, that is one beautiful name. Just, just let it. Just listen to it. The East Rutherford Giants and Jets. That's you like that wild. Name? I can't believe he went in with a list of demands. I doubt it even happens. Six billion dollars. <laughs> this is what our court system is being used for. <laughs> yeah, like I think uh, the Giants and Jets uh, commented on it. They were saying how it really doesn't matter. They know nothing's going to come from this. Yeah. But hey, okay, come on. Let's let's give one of the teams back to New York. I would be. And I would let be us open to keep it. one because we only have the New Jersey Devils and a bunch of other small sports teams. Yep. Get, let us have one football team, East Rutherford Jets. Mm-hmm. East Rutherford Jets. I would be a fan of the East Rutherford Jets. It's, it's a cute name, and then New York Giants. Uh, Giants need to stay in New York. It's a tough name, New York Giants. 
Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I doubt anything comes of it. Six billion dollars is a lot of money for these teams to pay out. You could probably buy the Jets for six billion dollars. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't. What are the Jets worth? <laughs> not much based off how they're playing right now. So yeah, they're actually looking agree. better than the Giants, though. So crazy. Joe, Joe crazy. Judge is gone. Did you see the part in the article where they were saying why? Um, why they're filing the lawsuit? Did you, you see know, that? I line? read through the article. Hilar- I forgot what it what it said. Um, I read through the article. I, so basically, the lawsuit is seeking two billion in monetary damage and four billion in punitive damages. Additionally, there are legal claims of false advertising, and deceptive practices. Um, oh, there that one. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is hilarious. The move to New Jersey financially benefited the, de- the defendants alone at the expense of the plaintiff and the class. A- of millions of Giants and Jets fans, plaintiff and the class have suffered mental and emotional damage, Ooh. including depression, sadness, anxiety, as a, re- as a result of the defendant's conduct. So they're saying because, they, because they're in New Jersey and claiming New York, we have depression. I don't know if the, uh, the judge is going to buy that. Hey, listen, going taking New Jersey transit back and forth from New York to the Meadowlands, I could see that causing some anxiety, some depression, uh, some anger. Dude, New Jersey transit sucks. Like, no one wants to be taking a train, especially if you're from New York and you're going to go see your own sports team and you have to travel to another state to see them. Come on. Sounds painful. I will give it that. But we do that with the Mets and the Yankees. Every time we want to see them play, we drive out to Queens or the Bronx. I never have felt depressed about it. If anything, it's a fun drive. It's a a great time. You're looking forward to the ballpark. You're going with friends. It's part of the experience. Get over it. But they're mad, though, because the Giants and Jets are still claiming New York. Yeah, and that's that's wrong. They should be the New Jersey Giants and the New Jersey Jets. Stop using our name. We don't want you guys to call yourselves... The New York Giants and Jets if you're going to be here. Yeah, I don't think e- there's there's no solution to this. It's East Rutherford be, Jets. I'm all about that. It's going to be war. I should jump into this lawsuit, actually, try to make some money off it. Maybe I could claim New York for a little bit. I don't know. Good luck with that. Keep me updated on how it goes. If you win any money. Hey, listen, bro. I got you. All right. I'll take care of you. So, question for you. Have you ever been to Sandy Hook? Growing up, that was the beach of choice by my parents, so I went every single year many times. Do you know how Sandy Hook has the old historic area? It's like an old military base with all the houses. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. So apparently, they are turning the, the Ford Hancock Mule Barn into a bar and restaurant, and the goal is if all goes well with the bar and restaurant, they're going to turn all those houses into little apartments. A bar and a restaurant in a national park where alcohol is currently illegal. To That's consume. a really good point. Eh, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Sandy Hook is a national park? National, right, Jim? Yeah, at one time it was actually a state park, but we gave it to the National Park Service. Yeah, it's that not even that, like it's Jersey. not that great of a park. Thank God it's not a state park. So I don't know how this pans out because I cannot see the federal government going, you know what, Sandy Hook, yeah, you can have a liquor license because then how are you going to turn on Yosemite and Yellowstone, like the actual cool national parks? Yeah, dude. Um, Yeah, I get it. It's cool. If you're at Sandy Hook and you want to go like have a great time at the bar and restaurant, it sounds like a really cool idea. Um, Long day at the beach. I'm all for it. I think it's cool. Your toes are a little sandy. You're like, hey, let's get a burger at that old spot. Let's get a little burger. It sounds like a good time. I would not be against it, but I just don't see it working. That whole neighborhood of houses feels kind of creepy to me every time I'm there. It's really eerie. And I would not want to live there. Maybe I'd eat a burger there, but I don't think I'd want to live there. (laughs) There's something off about it. Maybe they'll do like heavy renovations. We'll have to see. It's weird. Um, I don't know what it would look like to have like a bunch of apartment complexes in a, in a national park. Like you would have to drive always into the park and out if you live there. Um, it would be a pain in the butt to get to um, if you live there. I guess if you, if, if you think it's cool to live in a national park on, on a beach, I, whatever, to each their own. But like for me, I, I don't know. When I was a kid, my family went to Sandy Hook. And uh, I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. My dad... My brothers, my sisters, I was probably four years old. We're walking onto the beach, and this is the weird thing about Sandy Hook. We're walking onto the beach, and I just, I remember Sandy Hook had a really long beach. It was one of those beaches, I don't know which one it was offhand, but it's a North Beach, the uh, very long thing. walk. And my brothers, my older brothers, ran ahead of my dad and me and my siblings, and they came running back like they were terrified. Oh, no. 
And they said something to my dad, and my dad got like furious. Like, no, no dads in the 90s, they would just get angrier than dads nowadays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dads nowadays are like dads in the 90s. They're too nice now. They were kind of frightening when they got mad. You were like, yeah, yeah. It's, they were real dads. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, dads, they're like so lovable. And T- like, TikTok paints the picture of a dad as a really like cute, lovable soft, little character man. that you could just poke at and, huh, he's, he's upset. No, like, 90s dads? My dad was raised in the 70s. My grandpa fought in Korea. Dads were different then, you know? So my dad gets angry. Turns out we were on the nude beach. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea. And I said to my older brother, because I'm. Oh, he must have loved it. I had to be four or five years old. I look at him and I'm like, hey, man, to love. I said, Hey man, what happened? Were there crabs? And he said, Oh yeah, big crabs. And then we walked off the beach, and that's all I remember from the Sandy Hook nude beach as a child. My poor dad just trying to take the kids to the beach made a big mistake. Uh, the boys and probably loved it. Dude. You know what? The nude beach people will probably love to have a restaurant to go to after after their little escapades or whatever you would call <laughs> hanging on the beach naked all day. It's like in uh, Home Alone too, when Kevin sees the. Like he's going through Buzz's things and he sees like that raunchy magazine. Yeah. And he just like just throws it out. That's like how you were. You were probably that just was, like, uh, let's yeah. get out of here. I, I didn't even know what was going on. All I saw was sand you and were, I thought there were crabs. I was terrified of crabs as a child. Terrifying. They were scary. And, Bro, and it's, it makes sense. I got bit by a crab at Sandy Hook like two years ago while fishing there. They're, they're severe over there. They're actually yeah. like big crabs. Yeah. Scary. So uh, that's all the stories we had for the day. I would go to that bar and restaurant though. Like, I really want that to happen. I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to go back. We're going to come back to this this summer mm-hmm. if it's open. We're going to go. Review? We're going to go and review it. Do we have to pay to, to get into the national park and then go to the restaurant? Good point. I don't know. Because that's an actual, like, 15 bucks. Jimmy? How do you think Bruce Springsteen feels about this? Wasn't he arrested on Sandy Hook for consuming Was it alcohol? Sandy Hook? Yeah, it was. See, oh, wow. Bruce Springsteen probably. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. I don't think Bruce Springsteen has read New Jersey news in two decades. The guy <laughs> lives probably on another planet in his mind. He's probably always Zoinked like... out of his mind. I saw a photo of him the other day. Like some fan ran into him on a boardwalk somewhere down the shore. <laughs> he's wearing like ripped up pants and work boots. Like he's some working class construction worker. Bruce, we're not buying it. Hey. You're a billionaire rock star that is not Jersey anymore. You haven't been Jersey since the 60s. Get out of here. Yeah, get off Sandy Hook, buddy. Get but out if you want to come on the podcast, we'd love to. We'd love to have you we're on, Bruce. We're, we're, I, we love you, brother. Come on here. We want to talk. We have so many questions. Yeah. You should have you should have got that uh, rest stop named after yourself. I agree. Well, this was fun. How, this was a, how long do we go for? I have no idea. J- Jimmy, what's our what's our recording? At. We're 20 minutes here, but then it's like, the second recording. Whoa. 20, mm. a lot of time. I'll say at least 40. Well, if you're still listening right now, we just want to say thank you for giving us a shot. Thanks for listening. We love you. A lot more stories to come. We think you're, you're fantastic, and you just got you to gotta come and leave a comment on our TikToks telling us the county you're from so we can just know where you guys are at. Or yeah. join our Discord. Join the conversation over at Discord. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. We're always on there. You can shoot us a DM. We'll get back to you. Yep. Um, I know. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Spotify, Apple Music. There's going to be so many links. Absolutely. Josh is making a link tree for us. I'm building the link tree. I'm planting the seeds for the link tree to it's grow. It's going to sprout so soon into a beautiful tree. An oak. With mighty links. Oak. Merch? Did someone say merch? Merch incoming. Oh my gosh, so many things happening. Thank you guys for following our podcast, yep. giving us a shot. We're having fun. So if you think we should do anything different, hit us up in the comments. We'll open up the phone lines to everyone next time because mm-hmm. uh, we want to hear from you. That's it. That's all you got? Have a good day. Uh, what's our outro? How you how you going to take us out here, Josh? Land, I was just going to say, how am I going to outro this? Let me think. It's not easy. I just want to say thank you. We started this podcast six weeks ago and we have 30,000 TikTok followers we are growing at a pace we were not prepared for Mm. Uh, if you are listening to this we love you we'll talk to you soon keep up with the news make sure to join the discord so you can send us news that we can report on we need all of our little reporters on the ground this is a joint effort from all the citizens of New Jersey you know it we are going to be more informed as a state than ever before we're going to be ready to vote in local elections yes we're going to be ready to shoot down gambling laws or shoot them up whatever the the decision is that we want we're going to know what's happening yes god bless america and god bless new jersey have a great night slash day slash morning whenever you're listening to this bye bye
You're watching the Garden State. The Dirty Jurors.